Well, I was walking home when all of a sudden the street lights went dark. So naturally I assumed it was the specter of death coming for me, but it turns out it was just a power outage. The official story was that an Ohio power station failed, leaving 10 million Ontarians without power. But immediately I knew this was God punishing us for doing business with those filthy Ohioans. I remember being so scared. I had a newborn baby at home, and without power, I didn't see how I could send constant emails to my family, updating them on every single development, no matter how minuscule. My friends and I decided to make the most of it by getting high, which is also how we made the most of many other days. It was actually pretty fun, you know? Everybody was outside, talking to each other, laughing, playing music. And because it was pitch black, it wasn't long before we all started to fuck each other. I tried going out and talking to my neighbors, but in the dark, none of them could see how cute my baby was. With the traffic lights out, I got to live my dream of being a crossing guard. I was not very good at it. And then we realized all the food was going to go bad if we didn't eat it. And that's when a regular Thursday orgy turned into a full-on bacchanal. By the second day, things got bad. We were running really low on formula. Also, without being able to park my kid in front of the TV for a couple of hours, I started to realize I fucking hate my baby. I didn't even realize the blackout lasted multiple days. Being in the middle of a non-stop pork fest messes with your mind that way. On the third day, we were desperate. We'd gone through our entire stash. That's when Tyler rifled through his dad's drawer and found some old roaches. They looked nasty, but they did the trick. And then all of a sudden, the lights came on. And I looked around, and I realized I'd been alone the entire time. 